Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Joyce, EKB Sports Director and football fan. Welcome to week four of the Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. Armchair Quarterback is a weekly high school and college football show spotlighting local high school and college football in the mountains. Tonight we'll have a complete recap of last week's high school football around the region, top individual performances, upsets, and blowouts this edition of Armchair Quarterback will include highlights from East Ridge and Jenkins and one of the coolest touchdowns we've seen all season. Pike Central and Hurley, Belfry and Newport Catholic, Betsy Lane and McGoffin County, Prestonsburg, Breathitt County, and Pikeville and Paintsville, Johnson Central and South Charleston. Also tonight, we'll unveil the high school football rankings and the week's AP rankings. College football, the Cats are 2-0. And Coach Al Holland as the Upike Bears will celebrate their home opener this Saturday. We've got a lot to get to. As we get started, we look at some of the interesting notes from the weekend, eyebrow-raising individual performances. It was a good night for teams that run the football. Belfry Trio, Derek Wellman, Tavion Hunter, and Peyton Hensley combined for 355 yards. Pike Central duo, Seth Kahn, 261, and Isaac Thacker, 233 combined for 494 yards rushing and five touchdowns. Prestonsburg pair Ryan Sloan had two touchdowns. Ethan Varney, four touchdowns. They combined for nearly 400 yards and six scores. Johnson Central rolled up 357 yards on the ground, 575 total against South Charleston. Floyd Central's Dylan Cottle, 241 yards, two touchdowns. Ethan Howard had 19 tackles on the night. Shelby Valley, Seth Johnson, over 200 rushing, two touchdowns. Lawrence County's Noah West did it again, over 200 yards rushing, five touchdowns. Mingo Central quarterback, Jeremy Dillon, 269 total offense and accounted for five scores. Taking a look at the scoreboard, it was Belfry, 54-29 over Newport Central Catholic. Eastridge defeated Jenkins, 47-16. Floyd Central, 43-14 over Lynn Camp. In other action, Johnson Central defeated South Charleston 41-28. Knott Central 42-22 over Shelby Valley. Lawrence County defeated Powell County 57-34. McGoffin County got by Betsy Lane 18-16. And Paintsville shut out Pikeville 28-0. The Phelps Hornets still unbeaten after a 49-14 win over Jackson County. Pike County Central went across the border and defeated Hurley 42-16. It was Prestonsburg blowing out Breathitt County 60-26, while Somerset upset Hazard 20-9 at Daniel Field. Union Virginia blew out Ledger Central 55-27. Lots of scores, lots of great action. We'll get to the highlights. The Betsy Lane Bobcats have been in some very close games this season, and everyone expected another one as the Cats hosted McGoffin County. Close indeed. Deep in their own territory, Brad, a bad snap goes over the head of Bradley Woods. He'll be tackled for the safety. Now, McGoffin County with the football. That's Ryan Mullins with it, and he'll break a big run down the sideline, gets a stiff arm, and into the end zone for the McGoffin County score. Here's Woods again looking to throw for Betsy Lane. He'll find a man open in the end zone. And the Bobcats get on the board. McGoffin County, however, will defeat Betsy Lane 18-16. Next up, Harlan will be at McGoffin County. Betsy Lane will be open. Stay tuned. Coming up, many more highlights, including Johnson Central, Belfry, Eastridge, Pike Central, Prestonsburg, this week's AP and a highlight you don't want to miss, it's Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches, Pikeville Commons. I'm 
Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, and Lauren Mullins at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call or visit howardfamilypharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours and open on Saturday too. Howard Family Pharmacy. If you're looking for a fun, safe, friendly atmosphere to achieve your fitness goals, be sure to check out Heavenly Strong, a Christian fitness group that supports your physical and spiritual journey to wellness. Call 606-434-9914 for more information. No matter where you are on your journey to physical and spiritual wellness, Heavenly Strong is here for you. Attention nurse practitioners, if you want to spend more time with the family, the perfect position is available as PMC is hiring for school nurse practitioner positions. You can work while kids are in school and be off in the summer with pay starting at over $38 an hour and an excellent benefit package. To learn more, call Allison Lovely with PMC Recruitment Services at 606-218-4915. 606-218-4915. Hypo Medical Center, an equal opportunity employer. Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. Let's continue with last week's highlights. The Pike Central Hawks took their prolific ground game on the road to Hurley, Virginia, facing the Rebels Friday night. Things get started deep in their own territory. Seth Kahn, he'll head left and his signature move. Cuts back right and he will outrun everyone. Off to the races. Khan takes it 80 plus yards for a Hawks touchdown. Again, Khan takes the snap. This time does it with his arm. He'll find Isaac Thacker who gets into the end zone for the Hawks score. Pike Central moved the ball well all game. This time Thacker takes the handoff around the end. He'll make a man miss and then just outruns everyone. 40 yards down the sideline, six more and the Hawks win this one big. 42-16 over Hurley. Pike Central now 2-1. Hurley is also 2-1. Thacker and Kahn combined for over 450 yards and five scores. Next up, Pike Central hosts Letcher Central. In other action, it was Prestonsburg under the, the Friday night lights as the Black Cats hosted the Bobcats from Breathitt County. Both teams looking for their first win. Greg Nunnery with the give to Ethan Barney. He, does a lot for Prestonsburg. He'll get the night started with one of his many big runs. Again, Nunnery takes a snap. Barney takes a handoff, this time with eyes on the end zone. He'll get in an open field, wins the foot race as he does many times. Barney for a Black Cat touchdown. Prestonsburg will look to score again. This time, Ryan Sloan takes the handoff. He'll find room around the end and You'll find Pater from 25 yards out. The Bobcats do find their way to the red zone. Quarterback Cameron Stacy drops back. He'll lob one to the back of the end zone. Great catch, one-handed by Chandler Howard for a breathy county touchdown. Again, the Bobcats in the red zone. This time Stacy rolls to his right. He'll find Brandon Slaughter, who shakes off a defender and gets into the end zone for six more breathy county points. Now Nunnery will look to throw. He drops back, finds Blake Sloan all alone in the end zone. Touchdown, Black Cats. They win big at home. Prestonsburg 60, Breathitt County 26. Ethan Barney, 212 yards rushing and four touchdowns on the night. And the Golden Eagles of Johnson Central took their number one ranking in Kentucky 4A on the road to South Charleston Friday night. Johnson Central answers Blake Gamble. The Black, Black Eagles got on the board first, took an early lead, but Johnson Central's rushing attack of Blake Gamble and Joe Jackson and company wore down South Charleston in this one. Johnson Central goes to 3-0 with a 41-28 win over the Black Eagles. 
Blake Gamble finished with 128 rushing and a touchdown. Devin Johnson, three touchdowns, 113 yards. Next up, Johnson Central is at Louisville Moore. And the Belfry Pirates were back on the road to the northernmost corner of Kentucky at Newport Central Catholic overlooking the Ohio River. Belfry did what Belfry does in this one. Run, run, run some more. The Pirates rolled up 355 yards rushing led by Tavion Hunter, Peyton Hensley, and Derek Wellman. There you see Wellman there making men miss, breaking tackles, dragging defenders with him. The Pirates sail past the Thoroughbreds in this one. Belfry 54, Newport Catholic 29. The Pirates now two and one. Tavion Hunter had 109 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Peyton Hensley with 105 yards on the ground. Next up, Pikeville is at Belfry's KM Stadium Friday night. And two Eastern Kentucky football rivals got together for the 86th time Friday night in Paintsville in a series dating back to 1925. Pikeville traveled US 23 to battle the host Tigers at Memorial Field. We spoke to Panther head coach Chris McNamee about this game. We have to continue to work to get better just fundamentally. And, and uh, you know, it's, it wasn't like we took a week, an extra week to work on paints for what last week we took and worked on ourselves and tried to get ourselves better fundamentally. Well, typically we don't play too well coming off a of bye week, but, uh, we're, you know, we've talked about it all week and that we need to have a good start and uh, come out and, and play well uh, on, in all areas of the ball. We know paints was going to come out ready to play. Um, they always do, and, and it being down there at their home field, we, uh, we know uh, that they'll, they'll be ready to play. If, if you want to find a, foot, a good football game to go to Friday night, this is the place to be down at Painesville and uh, come down and wear your maroon. Keep an eye on Tanner Smith. The Panthers got the first break of the game on the onside kick to open it. There weren't many breaks for the Pikeville after that. Pikeville recovers the onside kick to open things. Jackson Hensley comes away with it. The Panthers keep possession, but Paintsville will move the ball well all night. Thanks to Tanner Smith's big night, he gets the drive going, breaking a big run. Remember the name, Tanner Smith, 23. A few plays later, Jake Hyden with play action. He'll throw deep downfield to, that's right, Tanner Smith, touchdown Tigers. Paintsville looking to drive after the score. Hyden drops back, he'll fire deep down the sideline, and who else? Tanner Smith makes the catch and outruns everyone to the end zone. Another Paintsville touchdown. Pikeville looking for a big stop on fourth down coming up here. Smith this time will look to throw. Now he'll tuck and he'll run. Gets a block, gets to the corner. Plenty of room downfield. Tanner Smith again finds the end zone for the third time. Touchdown Tigers. Paintsville shuts out Pikeville. 28 nothing. The Panthers fall to one and two. Paintsville now three and one. Smith finished with three touchdowns. The series now stands. Pikeville 50 wins. Paintsville 33 and three ties. Next up, Pikeville at Belfry. Williamsburg will be at Paintsville. We saw some great highlights last week with some great matchups. We expect to see even more this week. Let's take a look at uh, highlights around the area. And on the, the schedule this week, Pikeville at Belfry on WDHR and Hit City. The 57th meeting between the Panthers and Pirates. Belfry's won 15 of the last 16 and leads the overall series 34-19. Other action, Prestonsburg at Floyd Central on ESPN East Kentucky. It's the first meeting in this sure to be rivalry. Lawrence County goes to Greenup County. Jenkins is at Lynn Camp. Harlan goes to McGoffin County. Sissonville will be at Mingo Central. Both these teams ranked fifth in West Virginia AA. That's right, they're tied for the fifth spot. And Johnson Central is at Louisville Moore. Williamsburg goes to Paintsville. Tug Valley is at Phelps. The Hornets will look to go 4-0. Letcher Central goes to Pike Central. You'll hear it on the Rock 103. Morgan County at Shelby Valley. Complete coverage on Z1075. And Eastridge is at Sheldon Clark. We've seen highlights. We've taken a look at the schedule. Stay tuned. We've got this week's rankings from Kentucky's AP poll and the West Virginia playoff rankings. Also one of the biggest highlights of the season and a preview of the college weekend. It's Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches by Bill Thomas.
I'm Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. If you're looking for a fun, safe, friendly atmosphere to achieve your fitness goals, be sure to check out Heavenly Strong, a Christian fitness group that supports your physical and spiritual journey to wellness. Call 606-434-9914 for more information. No matter where you are on your journey to physical and spiritual wellness, Heavenly Strong is here for you. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, and Lauren Mullins at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call or visit howardfamilypharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours and open on Saturday too. Howard Family Pharmacy. There's no better time than now to get the Android smartphone of your choice from Appalachian Wireless. All Androids up to $50 off regular price all this month. The Samsung GS8 was $149.99, now just $99.99. The LG G6, normally $99.99, is now only $49.99. And believe it or not, you can get the Galaxy S7 for only one penny with two-year agreement while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless an East Kentucky Network Company. Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches, Pikeville Commons. We've seen highlights. We've taken a look at the schedule. The West Virginia high school football season now three weeks old, and they determine playoff seeds based on playoff rankings. We saw the first of those from West Virginia. In AAA, it's Musselman and University tied at the top spot. Huntington High third, Martinsburg fourth, and Capitol and Riverside tied for fifth in AAA. In West Virginia AA, the Bluefield Beavers at number one, then Bridgeport and Weir tied for the second spot. Fairmont Senior fourth and Mingo Central and Sissonville, they play this Friday, tied for fifth. In single A in West Virginia, Fayetteville number one, followed by St. Mary's, East Hardy, Midland Trail tied for number three, and a local mention, Tug Valley and Van tied for the 13th spot. They're in the playoffs as it stands after three weeks. And the Kentucky high school football season, now four weeks old. The Associated Press released its weekly, weekly rankings in each class. In single A, Beach, Beachwood at number one, followed by Paintsville, then Country Day, Hazard fourth, Raceland fifth, Pikeville still at number six with a one and two record. Just outside the top 10, Phelps ranked 11th. In double A, it's Christian Academy of Louisville, then Mayfield, Danville, DeSales, and Lexington Christian in AAA. Belfry at number one, then Corbett, Louisville Central, Boyle County, E-Town, Bell County at number six, receiving votes outside the top 10, Floyd Central, Non Central, and Lawrence County. In 4A, Johnson Central at number one, followed by Collins, Rockcastle County, Wayne County, and Mercer County. In 5A, Covcath number one, then Bowling Green and Christian County, Perry Central at number 10, they got a first place vote. And in 6A, Trinity, then St. X, and PRP. And last spring, East Kentucky Broadcasting's Michaela Colley had a story about an East Ridge athlete, Thomas Looney. Tonight, we have an update to that story. He's an inspiration to his family, his friends, and his community, all while being a man of few words. At birth, Tombo suffered a stroke without explanation, and since he has been diagnosed with autism. There's a gentleness in Thomas that's not in everybody. There's an honoriness in him too, though, and he's petted, he's spoiled, but there's, he's just Tombo, and yeah, he's, he's, he's just amazing. He has made us so proud. He was small and he had to wear a little hamstring braces. Never thought he could do any of this. The thriving 17-year-old gets the full high school experience. He runs out on the football field every Friday night with the Warriors, and most recently, he made a couple trips around the baseball diamond. What did you make across the Good job.
I mean, you can't describe it when you when you saw the look on his face. I mean, you you can't. I mean, but that, and that you can't just and you just can't describe the feeling. I mean, it's just overwhelming. What's the coolest part about running on the football field? Um, and everything. Everything. He leads by example. He, he does a lot by example. Uh, He's, not, he's a man of a few words, but he, he works really hard. And, and he, he's a good leader with the other boys because he shows them hard work and dedication and what it means to, to persist and, and, and to keep working hard for his dreams and his goals. Tombo is special to everyone he meets, giving all those around him hope that you can overcome any obstacle. Never dreamed that it would be like this. You know, with my older two, they both graduated from here. They were both into sports and popular. And I never dreamed that I would have that chance with Thomas, too. But these kids, simply amazing. He's the best person I know. He, uh, he always looked up to me, but he's better now than I could ever be. <laughs> Reporting from Lick Creek, I'm Michaela Colley for EKB Sports. Friday night, the Eastridge Warriors traveled to Jenkins and brought home their first win of the season, 47 to 16. There were many highlights in the game, but one that stood out was at the start of the second half when Tom Bo Looney ran off the sideline onto the field for a Warrior touchdown. Let's see the highlight of the night. There's Tom Bo with the football at midfield. He's got a wall of blockers in front of him and a complete community and school behind him. Tombo Looney into the end zone, touchdown Eastridge. His teammates swarm him and celebrate. He gets carried off the field as he should. We spoke to Warrior head coach Brad Allen about the play and his player, Tombo Thomas Looney. We didn't plan on doing anything like that that game, and uh, just so happened it worked out in our favor. At halftime, we were up on Jenkins, and uh, we went to uh, the locker room, and I went and talked to their coach at halftime and asked them if they'd uh, be willing to, to be able to give us a play like that for our young man, and uh, they obliged, and, and, and we were able to execute that play in the second half and give Tom Bo the ball, let him score a touchdown, and uh, you know he ran hard, and uh, we were proud of him, and uh, he's definitely earned it. While being an inspiration to his team, Tombo, his Eastridge teammates, and the Jenkins team have shown us again what high school sports are truly all about. Competition, character, and sportsmanship. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll preview the University of Pikeville Bears. They'll finally celebrate their home opener. We'll talk Kentucky football and more. It's Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. Attention nurse practitioners. If you want to spend more time with the family, the perfect position is available as PMC is hiring for school nurse practitioner positions. You can work while kids are in school and be off in the summer with pay starting at over $38 an hour and an excellent benefit package. To learn more, call Allison Lovely with PMC Recruitment Services at 606-218-4915. 606-218-4915, Pikeville Medical Center, an equal opportunity employer. It's the high school football game of the week, presented by Paul Howard Jr., attorney at law, and the Golden Corral Restaurant in Pikeville. This week, it's the annual matchup everyone waits for. The Pikeville Panthers travel to Cam Stadium to meet the Belfry Pirates. The game of the week airs Saturdays at 7 and Sunday at 4 and 8.30, only on EKB-TV. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. 
Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. The University of Pikeville Bears finally will celebrate their home opener this Saturday at the Hambly Complex in Pikeville facing Kentucky Christian University. We spoke to Bears head coach Al Holland about the week off and what fans can expect to see Saturday. Having a week off has been a positive for us and might have been a blessing in disguise being able to move that game to our, our off week. Uh, you know, getting two or three players back this week for uh, Kentucky Christian will be big for us. You know, getting our uh, kids back on the home turf, so that's big for us. And being able to sleep in our own beds and get ready to go and not traveling everywhere uh, and getting in a routine schedule. And, and that's big for all of our guys. And let's work together as a unit and, and let's have big plays and, and uh, you know, put a bunch of points on the scoreboard and make it fun for all of our fans. Kentucky Christian is at U-Pike. The Hambly Complex in Pikeville Saturday at 1.30 kickoff and you'll have coverage on Z1075. And Steven Johnson accounted for two touchdowns. Benny Snell rushed for the go-ahead touchdown late in the third quarter to rally Kentucky past Eastern Kentucky 27-16 last Saturday. Nearly two years after rallying late to eventually beat the FCS Colonels 34-27 in overtime, the Wildcats overcame the ineffective play on both sides of the ball that created a 13-3 second quarter deficit. Johnson rebounded from a shaky start, hit C.J. Conrad for a 23-yard score. Blake Bone then from 43 yards in the third. Snell's 25-yard touchdown run on the next play provided a 17-16 lead. On the next possession, Johnson spun past several defenders down the right sideline for a 21-yard touchdown run. He finished 15 of 22 passing, 224 yards and rushed for 48. Kentucky outgained Eastern 436 to 318 in its home opener and improved to 5-0 all time against the Colonels. It was Kentucky 27, Eastern 16. Next up, the Cats are at South Carolina, 7.30 kickoff, Saturday night. Another week come and gone. Now we prepare for another huge weekend of high school and college football. There are some great matchups this week. Will the undefeated remain unbeaten? Will the winless find their first win? We'll find out, and it's the home opener for the U-Pike Bears. We look forward to a great weekend of football and bringing you the recap next week on Armchair Quarterback. It's presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Armchair Quarterback with Andrew Joyce, presented by Jimmy John's of Pikeville.